So for those of you that have been on my channel for a while, you'll already know some of the trials and tribulations I've had with putting some luggage on the back of this Scorpion FS26 trike that I've got. So today I'm going to show you a solution that I found on the interweb. So it's a particularly windy day today. My apologies if that interferes with the sound in the microphone at all. I'll do my best in the editing as always. For those of you that are a bit newer to my channel, the problem that I have with the storage space on the back of my trike is that the 26 inch wheel at the back there moves independently of the luggage rack. That means that previously, when I've stored things on the top of the rack, the uh, wheel bouncing up and down knocks into whatever I've stored there, either damaging what I've stored or previously I've actually broken the fender on the back there. And they're quite pricey to buy a new one. So we don't want that to happen anymore. So having broken the fender, I then went through a period where I made a small cage that fitted on top of the rack and then bought a rack bag from Ortlieb, a rack pack, to go on top of that cage. The problem with that was I then had so much luggage space that I overpacked, took too much gear and uh, the trike was too heavy and I ended up damaging my knees. In any case, I then ended up breaking one of my front fenders on a curb. I bumped down a curb and broke a front fender later on. So I decided to bite the bullet and pay out lots of money for a full set of fenders. So then I had to remove the cage off the back. And then, of course, we're, we're back to square one on the lack of storage space. So I guess what it's come down to is I'm trying to find a more flexible option for carrying luggage on the back. I mean, the two panniers that I've got there are 20 litres each. So I can pretty much carry everything that I need for a, a tour of two days or more in those two panniers. Give or take a little bit. The main problem is uh, my camping gear fits inside the panniers, but the tent doesn't. Right, so if you haven't seen my Holland kit list video, I'll link it in the description of below and up there in the corner. You can have a look at that one. That will show you what I pack in these two 20 litre bags. But I can't fit the tent in the bags as well as all the rest of the gear. And a problem that I also come across continually when I'm on tour is carrying enough water for the day and food, particularly if you're on the continent, food. The shops close on Sundays, so on a Saturday you have to buy enough food for two days at least can be a bit problematic if your panniers are already full of gear. Where do you put it? Right, so I've just pulled over out of the wind for a minute so I could show you this new pannier that I've got. It's called the Air Pannier and it's from a company called Mundo Music Gear. They're a small micro company in the UK. Right, so where is it? Well, it's actually in my pocket. It's small enough to fit in your jacket pocket and it comes in this super little bag. There we go, Mundo Music Gear. So, in the bag, what have we got? Well, it's a series of straps, so 
using these straps it creates a basket on the back of your bike or trike to carry any items that you care to. It was specifically designed for musicians, particularly guitarists, so it also comes with two little velcro cushions to wrap around your rear rack. Two is three. So it comes with three little velcro cushions to wrap around the rear rack. Apparently musicians don't like scuffs and marks on their, their uh, instrument cases. I can see why. A bit annoying. Put the bag away in my pocket so we don't lose that in a windy day. So let's stick this on the trike along with what have we got? Well, I've got this bag which at the moment is full of clothing and waterproofs and things like that. So I would envisage on the road this would be full of food or wet gear on a wet day or wet gear after the wet day and also of course the tent it's the main reason for needing some extra luggage space in the first place right let's pop it on and I'll show you how it works okay so how do all these straps fit onto the back of my trike it's remarkably similar to the way it would fit to any bike um, the guys at Mundo Music Gear have a good video showing how this is attached to, a, to an upright bike I'll link that in the description below as always but for the trike, let's make a start. This white Velcro strap is the bottom anchor to the basket, and I like to put that around my frame under there, out of the way. So that then anchors the bottom of the basket. We then have these two side straps. The front one, I like to anchor onto the back of my seat, like so. That just gives me more side to the basket. The rear strap just hooks over the back of the rack, like so. We then have this basket shape that's been created for me to put my tent and the dry bag in. And then we can use the strap around the front of those, pull it nice and tight to hold them in the basket. It's quite difficult to explain that one on the camera, but hopefully you'll see once I get the tent and the dry bag all fitted you'll be able to see what I mean. So there we go when the air pannier is attached to the rack the rear rack it can then form a basket underneath any bags that I want to use. The straps then create a secure way of strapping that all onto the side of the pannier which you can see behind it there. All in all that's a really flexible way for me to carry just about anything that I would want to on the back of Trini. So something else that those of you who have been on my channel for a while will know is that I also like to go over rough ground so being able to carry stuff like that in a stable manner I don't want it jiggling around but as you can see that sits really really well really sturdy really steady speaking of sturdy the air pannier is tested up to 140 kilos in weight it'd probably go further than that but that's what the company has tested it up to, 140 kilos. I hope I never get to carry in that much luggage, I really do. So when I first saw the air pannier online, I reached out to Mondo Music Gear and asked them if they'd let me review one of their air panniers. And they were very kind and sent me one through. And initially, when I asked for it, I had this in mind, the double carry with the Ortlieb pannier and uh, my extra bit strapped to the outside and that works absolutely fine as you can see it's riding there really really well. But I've had the air pannier a little while now and I still keep coming up with ways, additional ways that I could be using it. 
I mean, it can also be used by itself. It doesn't have to be with the Ortley pannier like that. I mean, it can be used for carrying just about anything that you can think of. So think of the situation where you've got a large parcel to pick up from the parcel office. You could bike or trike down to the parcel office with the air pannier in your pocket. There it is, strapped to the back to bring it home. I also have a little 20 litre packable rucksack. Packs down to about, oh I don't know, as big as my fist. And I could use that. I can use that as a day bag. I've done trike on a plane before. Well how about going to the airport on the trike with your suitcase strapped to the back in the air pannier. There's just so many possibilities. It really is that flexible. The company itself makes them for musical instruments. On their website they've got videos with all sorts of musical instruments being carried with these air panniers. On one video of theirs they actually challenge themselves to carry eight guitars on one bike. Spoiler alert, yes they managed to do it and ride the bike afterwards with eight guitars on the back. Absolutely amazing. So a big thanks to the guys from Mundo Music Gear for allowing me to review their pannier. The air pannier gets a big thumbs up from me. I will be using it a lot in my upcoming tours this year. Certainly with the ones where I'm going to be camping. And yes, I will be camping again this year. So as well as being good enough to allow me to review the air pannier for them, the guys at Mundo Music Gear have also given me one of those magic codes for use on their website for you all to get your own air panniers at a little bit of a discount. So I'll put that discount code up on the screen and down in the description below. And when you get yourself your air pannier, how about taking some pictures or write me an email, let me know how you're getting on with it, what you're using it for. And perhaps let us all know in the comments down below as well. That would be really good. So once again, big thanks to the guys at Mundo Music Gear. Okay then, well, that's it from me for another one. I'm going to carry on riding around in this deceptively sunny day but that wind is really cold but I shall carry on for another mile or two yet and then I'll be back with another one really soon don't worry guys spring is coming we'll all be out there for some lovely long rides again soon cheers then Ta da Thank you.